Hello everyone. Welcome to the module on the renal system. In this module, we will discuss about the renal embryology, that is the kidney embryology. Okay. Let me just zoom into this diagram. These degenerated structures are called as the degenerated meso pronephros. This structure in the yellow is called as the mesonephros, and these structures are called as the metanephros. So the kidney is de derived from the pronephros, mesonephros, and the metanephros. Okay. The pronephros degenerates. It is the primitive kidney. It it degenerates after week four. So this pronephros degenerates after week four. Is it clear? This is very important. Week four. The mesonephros, which is the structure. the structure in the yellow this structure functions as the intermediate kidney intermediate kidney or the interim kidney for the first trimester that is the first 3 months so the mesonephros acts as the intermediate kidney for the first 3 months and later contributes to the male genital system that is the vast difference okay it contributes to the vast difference of the male genital system and it does not contribute to the kidney is it clear now let's talk about the metanephros the metanephros is the permanent kidney it grows into the permanent kidney it appears after the degeneration of the pronephros that is in the week 4 it appears in the week 5 that is after the degeneration of pronephros in the week 4 is it clear and this nephrogenesis that is the growing of the kidney takes place till 32 to 36th week of gestation so the metanephros which is the permanent kidney first appears in the 5th week and it grows till the 32nd to 36th week of gestation So are we clear with the pronephros, mesonephros, and the metanephros? Now let's talk about this structure. This structure. This structure is called as the uretic bud. Now what is a uretic bud? It is also called as the metanephric diverticulum. This uretic bud is derived from the caudal end. This is the caudal end of the mesonephric duct. Correct. This is the cranial end. This is the caudal end of the mesonephric duct so the uretic bud is derived from the caudal end of the mesonephric duct and it gives rise to various structures such as ureter pelvis callices and the collecting ducts is it clear now one important statement about the uretic bud is it canalizes by 10th week the pronephros degenerates by the 4th week the metanephros forms after the fourth week that is in the fifth week and it continues to the 32nd to 36th week and the uretic bud canalizes by 10th week is it clear now let's talk about one more structure that is the metanephric mesenchyme do you look at this structure this is called as the metanephric mesenchyme which is also called as the metanephric blastema okay the uretic bud that is this structure interacts with the metanephric mesenchyme which induces differentiation and formation this is very important differentiation and formation of which structures this is glomerulus till the distal convoluted tubule of a nephron is it clear so the metanephric duct with the uretic bud forms the glomerulus through to the distal convoluted tubule is it clear now if there is some kind of aberrant interaction over here or the signals have not been passed they can lead to different several congenital malformations of the kidney these congenital malformations i'll cover in the congenital defects of kidney but these are basically the renal urgenesis or multicystic dysplastic kidney as of now just remember the names okay so if there is any kind of aberrant interactions here it can lead to congenital defects is it clear 
Now let's talk about the ureto ureteral pelvic junction. What is that? It is a junction between the ureter and the pelvis in the kidney. Okay? It is a junction between the ureter and the pelvis. This is the last structure to canalize and hence it is the most common site of obstruction. It is the most common site of congenital obstruction. Now, how is the obstruction takes place? Since it is the last one to canalize, there is deposition of various substances which leads to formation of stones. And these stones obstruct this junction. This can be easily detected in the pregnancy by a prenatal ultrasound and it is seen as the prenatal hydronephrosis. Okay, so it is easily detected by the prenatal ultrasound and it is seen as a prenatal hydronephrosis. Correct? So this is all about the kidney embryology. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click on the like button and do subscribe to this channel. Let me know in the comment section below which topics do you want me to explain. Thank you.